The main breakthrough of our study was the discovery of genes that encode a chemical called domoic acid. Domoic acid is a powerful neurotoxin that is produced by harmful algal bloom phytoplankton in our oceans. A few years ago we had a really toxic event that led to the shutdown of quite a few beaches in the Pacific Northwest all the way down to Central California. That led to loss of fisheries, toxic events to marine mammals, and even some deaths. One of the main questions in the field of studying harmful algal blooms is, is how are they made? Where do they come from? My name is Brad Moore. I'm a professor at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. And my lab studies how marine organisms make toxins as well as um, life-saving pharmaceuticals. My name is Andrew Allen. I'm a joint professor at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego and the J. Craig Venter Institute. And in my lab, we merge biological oceanography with genomics. The catalyst for the study, which I found most exciting, was a graduate student, Patrick Brunson. And he's been that conduit that takes the science between my lab and Professor Allen's lab and brings those two together. So the special techniques that we used in this study was really combining the fields of modern genomics with the ability to do high-end chemical studies. The genome of Sudnitsha is really complex. Now there are over 20,000 genes in the, in the diatom genome. And because of that, it's quite frankly a needle in a haystack. We found three out of 20,000 that encode the synthesis of domoic acid. A major result is that the biosynthesis genes that drive domoic acid production are clustered in one small, very small region in the genome. And in diatoms, this type of functional gene clustering is really rare relative to a lot of other similar kinds of organisms. It's a telltale sign that there's some biology that's particularly important for the life cycle of, of this organism. We, we really have a, a new window into the cell to be able to understand which aspects of, of the environment, temperature or nutrients, interactions with other organisms are, are promoting domoic acid biosynthesis. This new finding has the potential to really impact the way that we monitor harmful algal blooms in the future. If we can look at the genes that encode the chemistry to make those toxins, this will give us a window before a toxic event happens. 